Welcome to The Chic Show, DIY and home decor on trend, on demand, and on a budget. Today I have three thrift flips for fall and Christmas. This is Third Thursday Thrift Flips, hosted by the Rusted Willow, Southern Gmore Gals, and our gray house. My first project is a chippy paint reindeer ornament. For this project, I'm using an old block, Waverly white chalk paint, and a reindeer ornament that I thrifted. Saw this technique done on Instagram, and what I'm going to do is paint the block with a couple of coats of white chalk paint, and while it's still wet, we're going to rub it across that reindeer to leave a chippy paint look. The great thing about this is if you don't have enough paint in certain areas, you can just repaint it and start again. Once I have the front of the reindeer looking like I want it to, I took a sponge brush and dabbed around the edges to also leave a chippy paint look. To make a bow for this reindeer ornament, I'm going to use a piece of a napkin that I found at a thrift store. I ripped it into strips and then I tied a bow with it. I think this type of bow adds to the rustic look to the piece. Hot glue the bow to the top and that's it. My second project is a faux bleached pine cone basket. I found this beautiful basket at a thrift store for $5.99. I have seen some techniques for bleaching pine cones, but as I said, this is a faux technique. So I'm actually using paint that I have watered down. It's some white and tan that I've mixed together to make kind of a creamy color white. And I'm just dunking the pine cones into the paint. I have a rack over to the side where I'm letting them drain on a pan. So with the bowl, of course, I have a little more room to maneuver and to dip that pine cone around. I continue to use a spoon and then a cup in order to get that paint down in all the nooks and crannies. I actually found all of these pine cones in the neighborhood where I live and of course 100% free. And now we just wait for them to dry. Once they were dry, I added the bleached pine cones and regular pine cones into my basket and I added a little floral, some fall and then some Christmas for two different looks. Here's the fall look and by just switching out those picks for Christmas picks, it will transition nicely into the holiday season. The last project today is a 3D Nutcracker art piece. These are two thrifted frames, and I'm not sure which I'm going to use, but I did print out two different sizes of the Nutcracker Suite, and I do have these stickers from Hobby Lobby. I cut out both of the pieces of music to decide which one was going to fit better with the Nutcracker stickers I had. 
Once I get both of the music pieces cut out, I add them to the frame and then decide which one looks more in proportion with the 3D Nutcracker sticker. I ultimately decided on the more ornate frame because the smaller opening looked better with the sticker. I hope you've enjoyed today's thrift flips and if you've seen anything you like I hope that you'll click that subscribe button as well as that little notification bell and don't forget to check out our host channels and the playlist listed in the description box and as always share the chic bye now thanks for watching